Hey all, Chris Bassett here, and I'm going to show you how to use this multimeter to check your capacitor. Let's get into it. If your furnace or air conditioner won't turn on, the capacitor is usually the first thing I look at. It stores a little bit of an electric charge to start the motor and are usually pretty cheap to replace. In my case, it was the air conditioner, so make sure before you start messing with anything, you turn off the breakers. Um, I thought I had stuff turned off. Uh, turns out I didn't, <laughs> and it tickled me. So make sure all the breakers are shut off before you start touching anything. So here I'm outside at the AC unit. I've pulled the panel off. And you can see I've got three types of capacitors. It's like a run capacitor, a start capacitor, and then like a high voltage capacitor. Uh, here is the contactor. I usually press that and make sure that the uh, power is turned off. So something that is very important is capacitors store a little bit of charge, so they will shock you if you're not careful. So you want to discharge them by, uh, you know, I usually use a screwdriver, and I just touch the two points together for a few seconds, like five seconds, just hold the metal together and that will uh, allow the capacitor to drain that way it doesn't shock you most of the time you can just take a look at the capacitors uh, here my high voltage capacitor was leaking oil out of the bottom so i basically knew it was bad right off the bat um, they could also be like disfigured or distended and you know that they're bad but we're going to test all three and i'll show you what the voltmeter should do as it's a normal functioning capacitor versus what it's going to do when it's a malfunctioning capacitor so this is just a seven dollar multimeter i got from uh, harbor freight you want to go ahead and come to the ohms side and you want it on the highest setting so here we'll turn it to two thousand ohms and then turn the multimeter in the on position go ahead and take your black or negative lead touch that first and then the red or hot lead touch it second to the connection points on the capacitor uh, you want to see a steady and gradual increase in resistance until there's an open connection so we'll touch the black first red second and you'll see it slowly climb up in numbers until it reads open which means this is a properly functioning capacitor and it's working so both of those are working let's show you the faulty one we'll hook up uh the multimeter and we'll touch the negative and then the positive and you can see that it's climbing and then it kind of stops and it changes it's not really doing what it should do so obviously this is bad and uh, you could tell that just by the oil that leaked out but Here's the replacement part uh, that I purchased off Amazon. They're not the same shape, but they are the same numbers. So here I'm just reading the 88108 microfarads, 330 volt alternating current. So I just went to Amazon, punched in those numbers, matched up everything that I could find as far as like air conditioner, brand, serial number, and then specs. Hey, check out another video over here. I've got Amazon links down in the description for Discount Electronics. Check out those links. No extra cost. You can help support the channel. I really appreciate it. Any other questions or comments, put below. Thanks.